This is Dr. Krauss, and I want to record a quick video for how to set up VNC for Raspberry Pi over SSH. So I'm doing this, um, certainly I'll, I'll post a link to these instructions, and you could do this directly on your Raspberry Pi with a USB keyboard and mouse plugged into it, uh, and it connected to a monitor, and that would work just fine. I'm doing this from my Mac over SSH, one, to show that it's out there as an option in case you don't have an extra HDMI monitor or something like that and also I can just do better quality recordings um, especially audio wise um, even the video though because there's not a clean way to record a Raspberry Pi desktop directly so I'm recording the, the desktop of my Mac and showing you the steps so one I need to know the IP address of my Raspberry Pi I'm using the wired connection and so I know that it starts with this B28 or B827 stuff, and so I'm looking for IP address 192.168.0.109. And so that should work even if I don't have my Wi Fi connected because I'm using the wired Ethernet connection. Like I said, it starts with this serial address on the MAC, ad MAC address, and so I can then um, SSH PI is the username at 192.168.0.109. And I've never connected to this one before from here. And the password is Raspberry, um, as in Raspberry Pi. And now I'm logged into the Pi. I'm ready to go. And over here, I have the instructions um, from Adafruit. Um, whoops. Must have clicked on one link to me. There we go. So uh, Adafruit has a good series on learn.adafruit.com for Raspberry Pi. And this is lesson seven. It's an overview of using VNC. And so you'll need to, in so the Raspberry Pi will serve VNC um, itself. And then you'll have a, or a VNC viewer on your Linux or Mac or Windows computer. And so you need to install these packages. Um, and I think I can just click copied. I'm going to flip over to SSH and paste that. Um, so one, the main way to install software on a Linux uh, computer is to use whatever package manager comes with your distribution. And so on the Raspberry Pi, which uses a, you know, the derivative of Debian, um, apt, A-P-T, is your uh, package manager. And so sudo apt get package name is how to install a package. And so what I just ran is sudo app get update, which makes sure that the, so the Raspberry Pi is going out and asking the uh, servers to give it the most updated information on what software packages are available. And when this is done, it'll also run the sudo app get install type VNC server. So that's the VNC server we're going to use on the Raspberry Pi for it to broadcast a desktop to us. Okay, so it did the first one. Now I'm hitting enter to do the second one. Do I want to continue? By default, I do. And so it's installing the VNC server on the Raspberry Pi using that command, sudo apt-get install type VNC server. And so that should hopefully finish here in just a second. And then we're going to move on to the next. I guess there's going to be some prompts. Uh, okay. And then I can start the VNC server just to, to test it out. So we'll do that as soon as this finishes installing. So you are going to want to go and install VNC client. Um, certainly in Mac and Windows, the easiest one is um, just to go to real VNC, which is the link here. You, you probably have a lot more options in Linux, and I don't know that I have a, a recommended best VNC client. Um, Okay, so now if I want to start it, I type VNC server colon one, and it's going to ask you the very first time for a password that you want to use to log into this. I, I, I guess go with something. Um, I don't care what. It doesn't have to be super pers uh, safe. Um, in that, I doubt you're going to be connecting your Raspberry Pi to a public network where your desktop would be. A big deal but I'm gonna do that um, and so now supposedly the server has started 
and at that point I should probably be able to connect to it so I'm gonna launch my VNC client and I think I said this was 109 and so notice there's a colon one at the end of this to tell it which viewer to connect to and so if I do that I get this warning the very first time that this is an unencrypted thing so certainly don't use your VNC to do anything that you consider to be super secure but there I'm in so now this is the desktop of my Raspberry Pi being viewed from my uh, Mac over the network and so now I can go ahead and continue following the instructions if I wanted to I could either do that over VNC or over SSH because I want to make this now boot at startup Okay, so I'm in a config directory and I need to make a directory called auto start. And then I'm going to go into that directory and I'm taking advantage of tab completion. Make sure we do that. And then in there, I want to set up this nano type VNC desktop. So I'm going to copy that code and paste that at my prompt. I don't know why it's giving me attitude. So I'm here and I want to copy these lines into this file. So can I just paste that? I guess I can. And then, so Nano is a really tiny, obviously the name, uh, text editor um, that doesn't have a whole lot of features and it just runs directly in the, the terminal. And so I'm going to hit Control X to exit out. It's going to ask me if I want to save and I'm going to type Y. And it's going to ask me for a file name and it's going to default to the file name we gave it. And so I'm going to hit Enter. So that's Control X, Y, Enter. And I now have this file. And I can go back in here and verify that the file's there and then just exit back out. So I now have uh, tight vnc.desktop stored in the folder and I come over here and say pwd I'm in home slash pi dot config slash auto start and that might be it and now the next time it boots up the pi is supposed to automatically start the vnc server so I'm going to exit out of my ssh connection I'm going to come over to my vnc connection and stay shut down and I'm going to ask it to reboot and then that'll happen and so my VNC server VNC client will need to close because it doesn't the Raspberry Pi doesn't exist anymore I'll give it just a minute to reboot and then see if I can automatically log into it via VNC so in the meantime while that's happening I'm going to try to ping it to see when it's actually turned back on Okay, it acts like it's up already, and so I'm going to go to my VNC client and try to reconnect to 109 colon 1, and it's asking me for my VNC password, and I'm back in. And you know, I always see this message, and I don't know what it means, and it's always there every time I VNC into a Raspberry Pi, but it seems like things are basically working. Um, and so the VNC viewer has, or the VNC server has started on the Raspberry Pi and I'm able to view it. Um, I still don't think I have, oh my. Um, apparently I started more than one. So you do have to get a little bit used to the fact that it's a slightly, it can be a slightly laggy connection depending on your home network. Um, And so you got to be careful not to double click things and start extra versions of things. Okay, so I don't have copy and paste working and we'll work on that in a, in a future video. But there I have a VNC connection to my Raspberry Pi that is starting on boot up. And the next step would be to fix the Wi-Fi connection. And so I'll do that in my next video. Thanks.